Alright, what's going on dudes? Welcome back to Minecraft. With this time, we're going to be going over another Minecraft command that you can use in Bedrock Edition. So let's go ahead and t take a talk to Rob over here, who will give us a, a little idea of what we're going to be reviewing today. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the ability command and showing how the command basically functions. So in order to enable the ability command, you will need to go into your world and enable Education Edition. So in order to enable Education Edition, you have to go into your world editing here, and you have to scroll down, and it should say Education Edition. If it's in, uh, if it says it's enabled already, then that means you're good to go. But if it's not enabled, you should enable it, and it's going to create a copy of your world that's, that should have uh, the brackets with EDU. Do note that if you just added the EDU brackets yourself, that's not enabling Education Edition. It has to be re it has to be freshly generated by enabling Education Edition at the bottom. You can't just add the brackets in order to make an Education Edition. The EDU thing is just there so that you know that it's an Education Edition enabled world, and you can use the Education Edition enabled features. So let's go ahead and head back to the Education Edition world here, and we're going to do a little demonstration on the ability command. So right now the ability command really only has two functions. So we're going to go ahead and show you both of them today. So the first one that you're going to want to do is the enable fly command. So as you can see right now we're in survival mode. I can't fly um, and I'm OP obviously but you still cannot fly in survival mode because obviously it's survival and you can't initially fly. But if you would like to fly you can go ahead and enable yourself the ability to fly by doing slash ability at P, or you can type in your gamer tag, may fly and type true. So now it says the may fly ability has been granted to you, ability has been updated. But now if you try to fly, as you can see, I am able to fly in survival mode. So uh, this is one way that you can use the ability command. You can give this to any one of your players who may be in your Minecraft world and doesn't have to just be yourself. So if you want to enable like certain people to be able to fly in survival mode to, you know, check on other players, see what's up, uh, you can also do that. Do note that if you do fall, you will take fall damage still. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're using this ability command. So in order to disable flying, you just do it again, slash ability at P may fly and false. So now as you can see, the Mayfly ability has been revoked from you, ability has been updated. So now as you can see, I cannot fly anymore, and I would just be jumping around. So uh, that is one use. The second use that you can use is for mute. So you can go ahead and do slash ability at P mute true. So what does the mute ability do? The mute ability basically prevents uh, people from chatting in your Minecraft world. So let's say someone's like spamming or something in your world and you don't want them to continue spamming, then they will not be able to. So if we go ahead and type something like E, as you can see it says chat is currently enabled and you will not be able to type whatever you want. Now obviously commands still work if you're OP, but if you're not OP, then uh, you basically cannot type anything. It'll just say the chat is currently disabled. Uh, but if you are OP, then obviously you can just do slash ability at p uh, mute and false and then as you can see the mute ability has been revoked from you i can go ahead and type again so that is uh, the second use of the ability command now the last and final use of the ability command is world builder um, i'm not exactly sure what world builder means because usually most people are able to are able to build in the world so i'm not sure what world builder actually does but I think that's just if you have like a uh, specific setting down your world where uh, you can, where you disable building for some people. So if you disable building for some people, like let's say I guess you uh, disable build here, you can go ahead and re-enable it with the uh, with the world build. But I don't think there's really a way that I can show you that without having someone else on. But yeah, that's uh, also another feature you can grant to people if you want them to be able to build in your world and building isn't normally enabled, but most of the time people enable world build, so I don't really see a reason to enable it, but that's just another way you can, I guess, enable people to build in your Minecraft world. So, uh, that's basically it. I feel like the two main features that you would probably use from the slash ability command would be the mute and the fly. Uh, those are probably the two most important ones that you need to know. So uh, other than that, thanks for tuning in, 
don't forget to like if you liked. Uh, check out the playlist if you would like to catch more videos on NPCs and stuff, which I still need to make playlists, so hopefully those playlists will be added soon, and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys all in the next one.